Welcome back to an electric show. Great coach, legendary quarterback, dominant tight end, my fandom. Chiefs are the new Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> with all the good and the bad that comes with it, according to Corey Woodruff of USA Today writing. Like Brady and the Patriots did for all those years, Mahomes and the Chiefs will be the biggest obstacles for your favorite football team finally getting over the hump to bring a Lombardi back to your home stadium. While it won't happen every year, it'll always stand the chance of happening. Nick, your reaction? Yeah, I mean, this is exactly right. And, I and I, I'm not being sarcastic here. I empathize and I get the frustration for the other AFC teams because it was a dynasty handoff with no gap year between it in the same conference. The Patriots from 11 to 18 in that eight-year stretch made the AFC title game every year, made five Super Bowls. The Chiefs from 18 to now, because they played each other in that mm -hmm. AFC title game, have made the AFC title game every right. year and in the five years since have made four of the five Super Bowls. So which means from 2011 to 2013, the AFC Super Bowls have been five for Tom, Four as appearances. Five for Tom, four for Patrick, two for Peyton as a Bronco, and then Joe Flacco got a weird one and Joe Burrow got a weird one. So everyone else has to feel like you got to be kidding me. Yeah. Like, and so th that part of it. Now, what I will say is this, and Brew, I, you might agree. Coach is going to reflexively disagree, but I think <laughs> I, you'll have to agree. If the Chiefs win Sunday, they top the Patriots' best five-year stretch. And it's the best five-year stretch in NFL history. Five. If we can show it to you, right. what it would be. This is if they win Sunday. It's essentially identical with, I mean, as close as you can get, but one more regular season win. They both will have been to the conference title game every year. They both will have lost Super Bowl. They both will have won three. It's at least a tie, if you will. And there's nothing else comes close because the Cowboys in the 90s right. didn't get to a fourth. The Steelers in the 70s, they needed six years. So I'm talking about a five-year stretch. So that's where that's where we're at. The Chiefs started off at the apex of the Patriots dynasty. I agree with everything you said. However, the article was saying not just AFC teams not liking the Chiefs, but fans, like all of the NFL world outside of Kansas City, not liking them as the evil empire. And that's where I'll counter. I, I think they could actually be like the anti-Patriots because, I mean, just starting off with the quarterbacks and obviously Brady's light, but Mahomes has been more of a driving force in this dynasty than Brady was at the beginning. It was Brady and Belichick, you know, because Brady, they turned it around with Brady, but he wasn't doing what Mahomes, he wasn't leading them like Mahomes has led the Chiefs. Secondly, there's no cheating scandal. Like, a lot of the reason people disliked the Patriots was because of the cheating scandal. Uh, uh, no, I think there, that's, I think, I think this, a lot I think of people, that was the case. I think added to it. Because even if you didn't want to care about the first but one, that was then there was much a second later. one. Yeah, that's what, yeah. So I think there, I think there was that. I think um, Kansas City's more likable. Mahomes and Andy Reid is much more likable than Belichick. He's in all these commercials what, and he's he funny. Because he hamburgers? No, but he's good. <laughs> it's funny in the commercials. And so, he's certainly more Because what I Belichick's think is this, Coach. Belichick's motif was he was, didn't care about being liked. Right. I like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but here, here's the, look, you, just because you dominate and you become a dynasty, like the article was painted like it's going to be boring. Like who's going to beat the Chiefs? The Jordan Bulls dominated unlike anything we've seen in the NBA since and before until, be, since Bill Russell. And they were beloved because Jordan's style of play was exciting. That's right. Ma, that's where we talked earlier. Yes, it's nice if they keep winning with the defense, but you got Patrick Mahomes. If they let him cook and be as exciting as he's been earlier in his career, then I think a lot of people will just love them and they'll become America's team for a stretch. Well, look, I agree that they are more likable. They have more likable factors to them, except when you look at, at the reaction to the Ravens AFC Championship game, everybody was looking for Lamar Jackson to finally end the Chiefs' reign. And as, as likable as they are, they're kind of saturated. I mean, every single commercial, every single day is something Chiefs-related, and, and it gets old. And then there's the post-games like, oh, you thought we weren't going to be here, and we're here. That, well, that, stop making them underdogs. Well, I'm just stop saying that. Stop doubting them. So now you're taunting. So, that, so there's, there's that element No, they're to talking it. to you directly. And I, I understand. <laughs> I, understand I understand that Nick wants to say that, that they were equal. I, I would argue that the quarterbacks that, that were faced during that, era, that time period 
who are a lot more challenging than the quarterbacks that oh. are being faced right now. I mean, really? you got Josh Allen, really? Nick Foles in a Super Bowl. Bowl. This is the second batch of yes. Super Bowl wins? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking no, about the first no, batch. No, no, the, the second. Well, we were, oh, the first batch of Jake Delhomme in a Super well, Bowl? I'm just, I'm just saying that. Don McNabb <laughs> growing up with himself? Okay. What are we talking about? Peyton Manning, Drew Brees, Ben Roethlisberger. There were, there were a lot of elite guys the every I, year. You didn't see the last block, but. Mahomes is playing Drew Brees. Oh, oh, yeah, oh yeah. I, I, I did see that. Did you see that? No. Was, was I, I putting Bernie on? Oh, no. Drew Brees <laughs> right yeah. now. I, I, I would argue that the, the level of, of quarterback play at that time is arguably higher than wow. um, what Go you, you face. Some think okay, this well, is the best. I mean, that's, I mean, that's, 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 you think this is the best? No, no some think this uh, is the best better quarterback than Peyton ever. Hold on. He's gonna, you guys weren't going to go down Manning. You guys lost. We were. That's not what I'm. Yes, and you missed the playoffs in the interim. Uh, we're not even talking, talking about, about those first that. three Super Bowls. Yeah, we're not. Oh, you're you, talking you, about the second. You're not. <laughs> yes, you're I second. am because in the got first it, three, you it. guys missed the playoffs I, I, after once. the first one. Forget which batch of three. Yeah. You're talking about. Well, that's not as good. <laughs> okay, there's one. It's, but two more. <laughs> yeah, that's. I know we're sitting on two. We're just like let's all. Right. It was down. under the hypothesis of them winning Sunday. I don't do Wilds, I'm going to call. I'm facts guy. I got to be facts too. I can't just be This side of the table is facts, baby. Yeah. In any event, yeah. Tom Brady, let's hear what he had to say. He joined Colin this afternoon. Take a listen. I think Patrick, obviously, I think he's a tremendous player. He's a great leader. I think that's one part. Everyone would look at all oh, a pass that's a no-look pass. I look at how do his teammates care about him? Do they respond to him? And that happens week in and week out with him. So that's why I think they're always the team to beat. Yeah, I mean, I think I think that's right. Not, but I the I think that this year's team in particular, the, none of it can happen without Patrick. And because the receiving core was in such disarray, you know, certainly early in the year, I think if you just put a good quarterback on the Chiefs, the offense grinds to a halt. I think oh, it yeah. took a great player. Absolutely. And, and Absolutely. With all that said, the the reason this Chiefs team was able to survive the growing pains is what they were able to do defensively, which is what makes it so unique. So Brady, throughout his run, nine times had a top five scoring defense. This is Mahomes' first one. And I, here's another place I want your take on it, Coach, where I see a similarity between the Chiefs and the Patriots dynasty. The, Chief, the di Patriots had a defensive-minded head coach who got – to go mind meld with a great offensive coordinator who he didn't really have to worry about losing for a long stretch of time because after Josh flamed out with the Broncos, it was going to be a decade till he got another head coaching opportunity. So he didn't, while everyone else was dealing with brain drain and things like that, and while he had to lose you guys, defensive coordinators, a lot because he's defensive side of the ball, when, when you leave, he can pick up some of the slack there until the next guy's kind of ready for it. Andy gets Steve Spagnuolo a year into Mahomes as the starter. Spagnuolo did not work out as a head coach. No one talks about interviewing for jobs. None of it. Mm -hmm. So Andy, while he can lose the enemy and pick up some of the slack over the course of the year, he has Steve Spagnuolo there to basically the whole time to be able to run that and not have to worry about losing it, which I think is a huge element to this year's team, and it's similar to what the Patriots had with Josh. Yeah, well, definitely having the continuity with Andy and, and the, relate, the long relationship with Spagnuolo. A lot of people wouldn't have stayed with Spagnuolo the way that Andy did, and, and now the, he's, he's viewed differently than he was during the early days uh, of the Chiefs, Ryan. But, but it still comes back to the fact that with Patrick, he is such a force multiplier. There we go. He's gone through the first contract. He's paid all that money. They've had to not spend as much money on offensive players. And now it, there's growing pains, but he's still finding a way to make it work. And everybody on that sideline knows that as long as we're in the game, as you know, and, and late, Patrick's probably going to pull it out. Mm -hmm. And that confidence, that, that extreme confidence, it's, it's huge. It's mm -hmm. huge. You want to go over? I had a question. No, go ahead. Do you think there's a element of when you were with Tom that there's a tiger, what we call the tiger effect, where you always hear like um, guys at the Masters or whatever would hear a big roar, and even though they're like Tiger was, you know, holes ahead of them or holes behind him, they would have to start changing their game because they knew Tiger was coming. Do you think when Mahomes guys see Mahomes on the side, like we're going to change the way we play? Yeah, you you have to be worried about about how many points he could potentially put up at any point. And so typically, and this year has been a little bit different, 
but you'll take chances that you wouldn't normally take because he can be so explosive at any point. And, and you think, okay, maybe we've got to go for it on fourth down. Maybe we've got to take uh, fake punts or do things that we wouldn't traditionally do because he's so good and we don't want to give him the ball. Yeah, that's what I think. That's what I think Lamar did and Josh Allen. Yeah, yes. looked like the whole team. Josh Definitely Allen, the yes. Ravens. Josh Allen three plays into the game was throwing a lot. I thought that was a good play, though. The illegal. Yeah, it wasn't illegal. Was there? A